All right, we are about 30 to 36 miles away from the equator, depending on our course right now, which is variable because of the wind. We are just doing our very best to get there today before sunset. Not only do we want to do our little celebration in daylight, which may or may not happen, but Tanner and I have bet on the 11th and we really want to win this. Um, the glory. Yeah, we got to <laughs> save our glory. We haven't had a lot of wins lately with the fishing and yeah. boy, we're just trampled all over on this boat. I tell you what, so <laughs> we really need this win. <laughs> There's not much else we can do except just sail as tight to the wind as we can and head as south as possible. Um, even though we're about 20 miles north of the equator, we're going at a pretty severe angle. So we're doing the best we can. And I think we may just end up doing our celebration in the dark, but hey, it's okay. How's it look? Looking good. <laughs> Or undressed. For that oh, your choice. Right now we're getting naked now. <laughs> no, let's read this <laughs> stuff first. <laughs> Dearest Mother Ocean and Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> there are moments in time when I have held my As I'm sure you can all imagine, this was a pretty special and momentous event for us all. 
Not everyone can say that they have crossed the equator, and far fewer under their own sails. And now this meant that we were graduating from polywogs to the much more respected shellbacks, age-old mariner terms for those who have and have not crossed the equator on an ocean-going vessel. And it's a long-standing mariner tradition to have a celebration at the equator, involving such things as toasts including offerings to mighty Neptune, prayers to Great Mother Ocean, and finally, a naked swim around the ship, which for us had an added element of trepidation or apprehension because of our evening arrival. But we were determined to do this affair properly and even cast off a letter and a bottle that we had put together earlier in the day, hoping to someday find out which hemisphere it had chosen to navigate. It was a bit emotional, but joyful through and through, and as never once to break tradition or tempt fate, we even dove in the endless wet darkness fully naked. Two at a time, for safety's sake, of course. Are you ready for this, Sonny? No. <laughs> Can you throw that into the... Nude nude? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> nid nid. Nudie cutie for tootie. There it is. There it is. Woohoo! 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 Not that bad. Not that bad. I don't believe you. She's so amazing. Keep going. You're looking good. <laughs> I want to go off the side. I don't want to go off the front. Yeah, we go wherever you want. I'm down for whatever. I'm going to adjust the camera. Let me make sure that they're... Uh, okay, so what's your plan, bud? I'm going straight off the side. Okay. okay. It's slippery, just so you all know. Be careful. <laughs> You're jumping. Are you going to stand and jump? I'm going to run and jump. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll just be right here. Just <laughs> <laughs> be right here. Is so evil, and I just love it. Yes, so Tanner's been running this blue lure that he just really, really wants to catch a fish. It's not on this corner. We're gonna go grab it over there, okay? And then we're gonna put out this <laughs> we're gonna pretend it's a fish on and see what happens. Oh, he's gonna lose it. So this thing is a black, it's a snubber. I know what it looks like, but it isn't. It's a snubber for a, for a dock line, so it uh, doesn't hit as hard on the boat. Um, it's uh, a shock absorber, basically, is what it is. And we're gonna repurpose it. Tighten the drag, tighten the drag. Alright, okay, alright, okay. all right. All right. I think you need the belt, dude, for this one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Holy yeah, shit. Alright. Oh oh, I think oh. it's I think it's off. No way. No. It can't, it's still on. Look at the tip yeah. of your rod. Oh, get it! Make it a big one! I don't know. Is it on? Oh yeah, I can see something. I think that's just my lure. What lure is it? What the heck is that? I think the I think it's small. I think the It's not fighting much, is it? It's not fighting. There's something on there. No, it's a big lure. What is it? Oh no. It's not a fish. What the fuck? Guess we don't need 
need the cap. Ah, oh, you <laughs> sons of bitches! <laughs> Tanner, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. When I saw how excited you were, I all of a sudden felt really bad. When I saw you come up the stairs, I was like, oh, this was a mistake. I mean, for it to be running like that, I was like, wait, this is weird. I should have known. Yeah. We gotta slow the boat down. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I smelled it. Yeah. yeah. I did too. I thought it was my finger. We were just talking about it. <laughs> oh. That's not nice. Oh, there it is, jumping. Hey, oh my gosh. Take a seat. Take a seat, bro. I literally just finished talking with Patty about how like the smell of the air smelled so <laughs> different. Yep. And a matter of <laughs> seconds. <laughs> You got the gap? We're probably gonna want yeah, the gap. Yeah, we'll get it once you get closer. The tuna. Count it down no, for there's me. something coming out here. Yeah, there is. Oh, a shark coming for it? Something. You see it? Oh, I saw whatever it is behind it. Oh, it's coming for it? Shit. Oh, it's it is that a shark? Yes! We gotta get a gap. Man, that was exciting for a minute. I've seen this happen on video, but I don't think any of us have actually had it happen to us. Even I Patty the most experienced. They just ripped that thing right in half. <laughs> wow. We saw it. We saw it taking yeah. bites out of it. It came flying up out All of the water. Of sudden, the like, oh. just skipping on the water. Yeah. yeah. It was a big fish. Yeah. Whew. I saw the shark. That was exciting. Yeah. Really? Following it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wanted more. Tried to take you out of the shot because you were kind wow. of like in the way of where I was like filming to see maybe we could get it. Well, wow. exciting nonetheless. So we know they're out here. Would have been a monster though.
think this is the best 24 hours of sailing we've ever had. We're averaging over seven knots speed and over a 24 hour period that's over 160 miles. That's incredible. Just beautiful sailing, beautiful sunrise. Couldn't be happier, honestly, incredible. Two for two on Colin, maybe a fish is about to hit the line. What? Tom? <laughs> Watch for sharks. The timing honestly couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> Making a fight now again. Doing great. There he is. Keep it going or no? Keep it What do you think? It really all depends on his tooth. Wait, no teeth. No teeth. No I think teeth. it's a skip jack. Yeah, it's a skip jack. I can't remember. Look. Damn it. That's okay. It's all right. Well, we tried. <laughs> Dang. That was a good release. You only got like one batch of blood. Yay. Yeah. Put it back in the ocean. <laughs>
Tanner's mustache day. <laughs> Not everything's about you, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> you beautiful bastard. Did you notice yeah. it? Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's yeah. shorter. Did you notice it? <laughs> Three days. Like, Three days left. It's crazy. Three. Three. Man, it feels like we have just flown from the equator. Yes, yeah. it has. Just clicked Somebody by. Somebody turned on the wind. Yeah. We have though, that's the thing. And today we're averaging well over seven knots so far. We're just cooking. Whoa. Wow. This beats our ashes faster, right? Toss <laughs> out the chocolate. <laughs> Well, a quick note worth mentioning uh, is the winds and the seas have absolutely picked up and it's actually great, but I definitely think with a strong forecast for even more winds for the next few days that the boat and our nerves are definitely going to be put to the test for the next few days. But we're all kind of acclimated to this, so I think we're all pretty much comfortable and I think we're willing to push it a little bit harder than we normally would be because at this pace right now we should be able to get into the islands about six o'clock about sundown on day three so if we ease up um you know i think it would put us in there a little after dark which none of us want to do so we're we're definitely inclined to keep going pretty hard not at an unsafe level but we have one reef in the main right now and we're we're kind of hauling we're definitely moving Fish just flew right through the window. I saved him though. 
just sitting there reading and all of a sudden I heard this like boom on the window but I have it cracked open ever so slightly and the fish just flew right in basically on <laughs> nearly on my lap.